welcome back to life it's aisha and today we're doing another installment of sneaker friday first i want to give a shout out to the business that i'm wearing right now woman owned black owned business and um the t-shirt just says respect across the top of it and then hashtag female sneakerheads it's a topic that is very near and dear to my heart um i've always felt like women don't get the appreciation and the respect that they are very much so deserving in a sneaker community so um yeah it's just a t-shirt you can check out her business i will have her information probably on the screen and also in my description box her name is tay and um she's super cool and i like her business a lot um i buy socks from her um i also have the, the respect female sneakers pin i'm so mad that i forgot to grab it because i got a whole lot going on right now in front of me so i can't just go grab and come back plus i'm trying to go ahead and get this video finish it done edit it and out tomorrow because tomorrow is friday i'm gonna do better i promise you all i say that all the time but i'm gonna start pre-filming again because when i was doing it it helped me out so much with my um productivity and my procrastination so yeah um before we get into the video i do want to say um happy happy february and happy black history month that's one reason why i'm wearing this t-shirt because it is um from a black owned business and we all know that it's so important to support the small black owned businesses um just black owned businesses in general um small or big we should support them it's extremely important i've been supporting black owned businesses honestly since i was a child um i can go on and on and on but that's not the video for this but um yes i grew up in a family that was very um black first type of family so um i've always known who i was where i came from and my history um, i know i'm 11 days late saying happy black history month to y'all but guess what we're black every day we're black 365 we're black 24 7 so every day is black history month if my in my book okay so um today i'm going to be discussing the sneaker i thought it was a perfect time to bring this onto my channel because it is a primarily black sneaker if you don't follow me on my sneaker page um it's going to be right here it is at soul of kicks on instagram and this month i've been doing a little theme called um black sneakers for the month of february now um <laughs> i don't own a whole lot of sneakers that are primarily black so um what i've been doing is any sneaker that basically has black in it i've been trying to rock them i was gonna do 28 days but yeah i don't know who i thought i was giving myself that type of pressure but of course i did not live up to it maybe next year you know who knows but um this is a pair of sneakers this is a jordan one and i got it for my birthday my um brother he purchased these for me for my birthday these came out i want to say um I would say either Black Friday or Cyber Monday. It was either one of those. I want, I'm leaning more towards Cyber Monday. I guess I should have looked that up before I started filming. Yeah. But um, it's the Black Metallic All uh, Patent Leather Jordan. And I'm going to pull out the one that has like the extra extra laces on it. Because they have gold laces. Um, this sneaker first, I want to say it was 2003 when this sneaker first released. It's like the first um patent leather jordan one to ever be released this sneaker being all patent leather all over with the exception of the tongue here it was new to jordan to the jordan brand this sneaker released originally as a mid so a jordan one mid this is a jordan one high originally when i saw pics of this shoe um i was a bit iffy on it which is why i didn't try to go for them on release day or um try to backtrack and get them because i um i don't own any patent leather jordans so um i'm like i don't know how it's gonna look once i start wearing them um of course these are still dead stock you know she has a nice new sneaker smell but um yeah and i was iffy on them but i was trying to send different links to what i wanted i really wanted of course the grinches um i wanted like the um what else did i want the mocha ones the biohack ones but you know i do try to be accommodating and the things that i ask for because i'm not going to tell someone to buy me some 300 400 dollar shoes um these were probably in the two range but it wasn't like you know outrageously priced plus i'm a person that i don't really believe in paying resale for sneakers um i like to get my sneakers at retail or under retail so of course i'm not going to send someone else out to do that unless they just want to do it for me so um yeah he was gracious enough to give me these for my birthday i know his birthday is coming up so yeah if you're watching this sir um <laughs> i gotta figure out what i'm gonna get you but i'm so appreciative of getting these let's get it right into the review it's just all like i said it's all black um 
patent leather Jordan 1 high. It's nothing, you know, out of the ordinary. Um, it does have accents of metallic gold. These are the black metallic Jordan 1s, if I hadn't already said that. Comes with an extra set of laces here. There are this um, metallic gold color. The exact same color as the swoosh here. When I look kind of close into the shoe, I'm pretty sure it's not going to pick up on camera, but the swoosh and the, all the accents of gold, it does have like a slight glitter effect to it. I'm pretty sure you can't see that. You may can even see my reflection in the shoe because I can see it myself, so I, I'm not sure what you all can see. But um, yes, it comes with black laces already in the sneaker. And of course, I'm probably going to either do one all black when I lace them up or I'm going to do... Um, yeah, one, one shoe all black, one shoe all gold. Or I may just do both shoes gold. On the wings here, it just says Air Jordan. And it's also in that gold metallic color. On the tongue of the shoe, you have the Nike Air branding right here. That's also black and it has the writing in gold. Okay, taking the little um, shoe tree out of the shoe. It, this is a six half. I don't know if I mentioned it. I always get a six half in Jordan 1s. Um, um, which is slightly like sizing up because they are a bit more tighter and narrow fitting. On the insole, it has Nike Air and Gold as well. Pretty sure you all can see that. The sole and midsole is just black. It has um, gold threading detailings around it. So where it um, is stitched together, you all can see that. These are the black laces here. And um, that's pretty much the gist of the shoe. Um, and like I said before, it's not like <laughs> a whole lot to describe and review to you all because what you see is what you get. What I really like about it, it's just so sleek and just it's a nice classy feel to it. So I feel like you can dress this shoe. Well, I think in general, Jordan 1, you could dress up and down. But definitely, this will look nice, especially like in one of those sneaker balls. Um, this will look great with a dress. I'm still trying to figure out how I'm going to style them. Um, it's still winter right now. And I know I wanted to kind of wear these during the winter months but also I was thinking like this gold I can play around with it you know it doesn't really matter the months but I've just been thinking about how I'm going to style this sneaker and um yes yeah, so let me just pull out the right sneaker so you all can see how these are both looking side by side I know in my last review I think of the Kobe um questions i forgot to do this and this is like my little signature thing so i said i gotta make sure i remember to do it but um yes yeah. so i'm not gonna hold you all i normally hold you all i'm just gonna say um thank you all for rocking with me um i keep saying happy new year i don't know what it is probably because i feel like my february started my new year because um after my month-long celebration in january i feel like february was just like my pressing the restart button on this year um and my february has been super busy i can't believe it's just the um the 11th right now i'm like oh my god it feels like it's basically almost march which in a sense it is coming reviews will be some more items that i did receive as gifts also it's going to be just a mixture if i ever grab anything i've yet to you know get a win this year even though it's, it hasn't been a whole lot of taking l's on i would say um because some some l's were just kind of obvious to me it was the other day the um well not the other day yesterday the trophy room jordan ones that was that was a terrible release all together and if i was doing a video about that i would talk about it because you if you know you know it was just so yeah, that's going to bring us to the end of this video. I hope that you all enjoy watching it and my quirkiness. I will be back hopefully next Friday with another edition of Sneaker Friday. And as always, remember to like, comment, subscribe, and share. And I'll see you in my next video. Thank you for watching. Bye.